Oh, look at Beth in the background. She's just being Beth and she looks so good in every hat. Hello, welcome back to Vintage Splendor. Today I am going thrifting with a very, very special person. Actually, the person who inspires most of us to get dressed every day. Can you guess who that is? Sweet compliment. Thank you. Yes, because yeah. I always think, you know, like we always have to get dressed up. I feel like you've always put that dress up. always play dress up. I feel like you have inspired a whole generation to get dressed up. I mean, I feel like I've always gotten dressed up, but I feel like you always push me to the next level. Oh, I feel thanks. like I love styling and I just love that thanks. about you. And I also want to say I do schleppy days though, too. <laughs> I do like. I feel like I'm just in sweatpants too. So you can have those days as I well. Mean, I just I want everyone to know. Yeah, that. I mean, I think we, we all, all need those do days. too. But I feel like just like right now with your summer of Carrie Bradshaw oh, yeah. last week, I was like, I don't know what to wear. And then I was like, wait a second, Beth is doing this whole series around Carrie Bradshaw. And boom, I was like dressed, ready to go. I got out of that like 10 minute rut I was in. <laughs> yes, which we all have. Which we all have. So we are at Palos Verdes Resale. The last time we were here was, we were just trying to figure out how long ago that was. It was about three years ago. I was pregnant with Violet. I was not feeling very good. I think I was like, okay. You really if I hung to, in there well. I, I was like, if I have to take breaks every five minutes because I have all day nausea, right. please excuse me. But we had so much fun in this little shop. We found so many gems. Yes. I still have those pieces that I found here. And I like love shopping, especially with somebody who, I feel like our style is very similar but it's also very unique like I love that I can grab stuff that I love but I know that it's very you and like you do the same and like I feel like we feed off of each other's energy and something else that I always stress is like I love shopping at charity shops because they're usually volunteer run which means the volunteers donate their really good stuff mm -hmm. to the shop and then they also volunteer there and they're like your hype girl they're your hype team you're like excited about that like 1970s gown they're like yes girl get it get it and it's really fun to shop yes when there are people just excited about the finds for you so yes. tell me what you're shopping for today um i am in my Carrie Bradshaw summer as I'm calling it. So anything that feels very Carrie inspired, which I'm finding is like, you know, of course we've got like the 50 style skirts or the tutu or whatever, but I, it's like interesting little details, like even a top that has a little extra bling or a little, you know, tassel to it or extra scarves or just all the little fun, whimsical add-ons. Carrie always has something a little unexpected. So looking for those little party pieces I like to call them so I'm definitely looking for that anything vintage I'm looking for I'm you know heading into my like summer July going on a few trips and so wanting a few pieces that inspire like my looks for those of course. so anything like that I love that okay so I have been mentioning that I have been on a shopping spree lately I think the last two months I keep hitting the gold mine it doesn't matter if it's at an estate sale flea market thrift store private collection that I find on Facebook marketplace. So I don't know if I'm entering like a, you know, um, I don't know, like a criminal's house that's going to murder me or if they're like, it's upstairs. Really the private, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like, Oh, the private closet it. is upstairs <laughs> up the scary flight of stairs. I'm like, I'm down. You yeah. said that there's vintage St. John up there. I'm going up yeah, there, yeah. but I've been finding really, really good pieces. And we were just talking about how hard it is. It's much harder to find true vintage pieces nowadays. So I feel like anytime I find a really good piece that is vintage, I am so excited to buy it, to preserve it, to style it. And just be like constantly inspired by it so for me i am definitely still in that like joan collins 80s dynasty era but i'm looking for really great dresses that are really easy to style i feel like i haven't re been reaching for dresses lately i just like look at my closet i'm like i don't want any of you even though i know i have great <laughs> right. dresses but maybe a couple of new pieces to inspire we're also headed to Barcelona, ooh, Provence, and, um, and a Costa Brava. So, of course, any fabulous, you know, ooh, pieces. Where are we going? We're going in 
uh, middle of August. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So fun. Oh my so I'm so excited. So I always love to have a vibe for travel as well. Yes. I'm a light packer. So I'm like looking for pieces that I can style up multiple ways. So that's kind of on my list, but I usually just look to see what is inspiring me. And if I love it, I buy it like no regrets. I do right. not want to be up at night wondering about that piece I did not buy. Right. Nothing keeps me up at night like vintage I didn't buy. So I need to get a good night's sleep. My friend's <laughs> gonna make sure that I buy all the goods. I'm gonna make sure that she gets all the goods. So I just saw a girl walk by with a cute vintage dress and I'm like, oh no. Oh my gosh, she's dress. gonna beat us. I don't know. Okay, let's go. We <laughs> gotta get in there. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> look to start in the designer collections or in just the dress up gown areas beth is by the belts carrie bradshaw look always starts with a belt i'm usually a gold gal but i love this statement silver necklace that is really really cool so that'll make those? it uh, go Ooh, up those or, are really or great. Yeah. I love those. Very cool. You could do oh, like your yeah. little shirt. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Or the old yes. Days, the 80s and then you flip it through. Yes. I, I love, that. love that. This is so, so cool. fab. I know. I usually love gold, but I can oh try God. silver that once in a while. No. Oh, oh, so yeah, this is wow, really pretty. pretty. It looks so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. See what I mean color. about all the hype girls around me? I love it. Yeah. Oh, special occasion. This is always calling my name because this is where I can find really great gowns, and just really special pieces. vintage suit the pantsuit it comes with a top but i don't want the top but i do like the idea of wearing this as a little leisure suit there's this really fun i think it's like a german kid's little sports activewear jacket why am i not thinking like a windbreaker that's what i'm trying to say i love the color i love that it's more of a crop fit i'm gonna get this and try it on because i love a jacket like this like similar to what beth's wearing and just like throwing this on is like a fun little color pattern play we're in summer but i love a good oversized blazer i love this color i don't have anything in this color um so i'm gonna definitely try this on you've got a lot too i'm excited for the dress up session casual in a flower girl bonnet that looks really great on you i feel like if anybody can pull it off it's you it's so cute can i bring bonnets back <laughs> yes you can i think you can bring them back okay, this is obviously not vintage but this would be such a fun styling piece i have a little corset top like this that i love to style with flowy skirts it laces up in the front um it layers nicely over t-shirts and other tops so this is reminding me i have something like it that is really fun to style and maybe i should try it over some dresses like a fun little cotton St. John's Bay sweater. I like cotton knitwear like this because sometimes in the summer you need something that's a little heavier for those chillier LA nights because it does cool down overnight here. I like that color. I like this like silky little top. It has this print. I feel like it could be really fun to style with some pants like just like a flowy look but only button it maybe partially and just have like a colorful bralette peeking through where there is one your there's always going to be more this is a velour your row gonna grab it of course <sighs> look at this indian cotton skirt it's like a leopard print super fabulous i love it i love the shape of it it's so lightweight i love indian cotton 
um, let's see, I've seen this brand a lot. It's P H O O L, Fool, and please look for it like Indian cotton. Check in. Okay, look at BB top. So cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, BB. I love and old BB. BB and cachet are so bad. Yes. I find the best cachet now, and also, maybe all my prom dresses were from cachet. <laughs> so amazing. But I'm just doing like a quick check in because you have a lot. Yes. That I can't wait for the try on session and then this is my pile <laughs> so many goodies. this is what happens when we get together just the thrifting forces just bring us all of the good stuff just found this i think it's either handmade it looks vintage handmade um, even better fun everything's falling <laughs> That is such Very a great cute. carry top. It really is. And you know me, any day that ends in Y is a good day for sequins. Ooh, yes. So we're in kind of the makeshift fitting room. Okay, see, this is what you've I got to do. Skirts are great because you can just throw everything under the skirt. I did not wear a skirt. I'm wearing pants, but I did grab that Indian cotton skirt. So that's going to be my trick. So I threw on a few pieces just so you could see it styled up. I love this i think it's a kid's jacket and i love the green and then i put on this belt <laughs> oh my god beth in the background she's just being beth and she looks so good in every hat i'm like i can't wear hats for some reason and then this is the skirt so it's a it's big on me so i just don't think it's gonna work out but i do love the belt because of course it's gold it's chain and then this jacket is really fun it's like really easy to throw on over different outfits and i do like the crop fit i have ones that are a little bit longer and this is just a different style okay so this top i was originally thinking i could button it up and have the bra be a little peekaboo moment it's a little bit too big to do that but we were just talking about how it looks cute just leaving it open and then i could have like a nice little bralette and then maybe high waist pants or something like flowy just like this could it work it so does like and color. and i'm wearing pants under the skirt the pants are so big they're like gonna fall off of me this is that like baby blue suit that i loved so much but it's just way too big it's not gonna work so i had high hopes for this dress but like I always say, just try it on. You never know. It's a little too, I think, homeroom teacher for me. Um, and it even came with this belt, which is so funny because I do remember like so many dresses like this in the 80s and 90s coming with all of the accessories. You know, we did think like if we just buttoned the top and then wore it over some like really great like palazzo pants and then leaving the skirt part unbuttoned would be really really great but this is a pass for me that is really really fabulous we were just talking about how it's great for the holidays yes. and the holidays are only six months away so it's never too early to start shopping you know, i really really cute if i i i would do this if i lived somewhere else the little hot pants and some like sheer tight. I know, love that. Laser. Yes. <gasps> With a little rhinestone. But what do you mean if you lived somewhere else? I you could totally like do it. I can't. I can't do the like. <sighs> I if I had legs like yours, I would. But that is one area. But where I, I do like. love this, and I have to say, like a style note on my part is like I love pieces like this because I can like see myself pairing them with like dressier pieces. Yeah. Um, but also like I would wear this oh, with God. one of like my like low rise. Levi's, yeah. like the really baggy, cool distress ones. And then it would look really cool. I just really yeah. like it. Look at Very those fun. like arm muscles showing through. I love it. <laughs> this is not a summer dress. Um, I don't think this is vintage, but it is a blazer. I love an oversized blazer. This color is really great. I love this length too because it just works for me. Even though I'm more petite, can throw it on over some shorter dresses and it looks great. It looks great with like maxi skirts and then I can just button it um, and it looks really good. So if it's not too early to start shopping for the holidays, it's not too early to shop it's for fall. I really like that dress, actually. <laughs> like, the back looks so cool. Well, this way, I just was just thinking, like, oh, belted? This yeah. actually looks great. It transforms oh, the dress. Yes, you know. for sure. Very cool. Look at these Stuart Weitzman little kitten heel mules. I love mules. They're so great. Let me show you a close-up of them. They have a little tassel. 
I'm so getting these. This dress, obviously too big. The color is stunning. I love the gold buttons. Just imagine if it were fitted, this would totally be the dynasty vibes that I've been going for today. Oh, if it was fitted. It's I know. It's just going to be way too much work to get altered. And you should see the pile I have at home that has to go to the tailor. So I'm going to pass on this, but look at that color look at the buttons let's see what that has that's really fun fredericks of hollywood little which i really love i love that Me too i like that it's like a play on tuxedo yeah. a little bit i have to say okay so fredericks of hollywood is one of those brands that i recently rediscovered yes. and they have really good vintage clothing they are one of the brands I, yes. that had the og hot pants you know yes. the disco pants yes. One of my followers just found me a red pair. Like, I feel Ooh. like styled with this, Ooh. that would look amazing. That would be really cute. Yeah, no, I love this. I always love a Fredericks Paula would find. These are track pants. They match the jacket from earlier, but they were separated and I am reuniting them. Look at how great. So it's kind of hard. Actually, can you show what yes. the fit is? Thank you. They're perfect. They're, I mean, they're literally what track pants should be. They're yes. so and cute. And I love that they're like ankle length mm -hmm. on me because I'm so short. Everything is always so long and way too baggy on me. This is like the perfect fit. I love the color. I love it with this outfit. Like, yeah. boom, done. I know. Like, it literally is perfect. Going back right to Beth's inspo summer of Carrie like, with the hot pink yeah. bra even. Every yeah, little detail is so worth perfect. It. Yes, 100%. Done. Yes. I grabbed this skirt and it is Indian silk. So as much as I love Indian cotton, I love Indian silk. It has this really, really pretty um, paisley pattern throughout and it was way too big as a skirt and then genius behind me beth is like that would be cute as a dress so uh, i just pulled it up and then i borrowed this belt from her and i, I really yeah i love it with the belt it looks so cute that. this looks great so definitely get the belt okay as your friend who's into statement and belt, <laughs> yes. I have over 50, yes. I'm telling you, get this belt because you can never have too many belts because no. they make every outfit look better. So this is a yes, but as a dress. I throw on this Christian Dior velour robe just to style it. I mean, I have so many vintage robes. Like I don't need to buy it just because it's Dior and it's vintage and i recently found alan some vintage dior men's sweaters um i don't think he needs a robe too i think he'd be like stop buying me so much <laughs> but i love this color and like if i didn't have so many like layering pieces for winter i would definitely get this one i like the color i love the texture i love the white piping but I'm gonna leave it for someone else. Okay, yes pile. Beth's got hers. A lot. We always do so good when we're together. We're just a magic team. Okay, last minute find. Yes. This is so fab. I love the color. Yes. Great for summer. Very, what, 60s? Yeah, I think so. It's really great and looks great with your tan. Yes. Um, I do think it's a good little Is I always do one last little look because yes. you probably missed something along the way. I always, I, I honestly, agree. I think some of my most incredible finds have been a last minute thing as I'm walking to the counter. I agree. And this is really gorgeous. I love even the little detail here. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's great. Okay. As per usual, lots. So many good finds. Yeah. I loved everything. What are you most excited about oh that gosh. you found? Oh, I feel like I found so many fun. I really loved a lot of the tops. I got like the kind of square neck one. I love the Harley Davidson. I love the New York sweatshirt. You so, found so many good tops. And then yes. that suit was kind of a yes. moment. Yes. I feel like it'll be, I'll be so happy I have it come this fall. So I agree. Yeah. I was excited about my green track oh, suit. That was so, so fun. And then the Did first one. shoes? Oh, I did I show the shoes. The shoes are my second favorite. Yeah. And I also love the silver shell necklace because <gasps> I have so many gold pieces. Yeah. But it's fun to have a statement piece that is silver. And I'm yeah. excited to style up everything. So much fun, as like, usual. We always have so much fun together. We always find gems. If you're not following Beth, be sure to follow her and go watch her video because yeah. We did two different perspectives, so you could just like, it's like double the fun. Double your pleasure, double, double your, your fun. fun.
double mint, double mint, double Okay, I don't remember the last part, but that's the vibe. Alrighty. Well, thanks for tuning in. I will see you next Friday. Bye.